Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been desperate to replace its aging fleet of helicopters with latest naval utility helicopter NUH. The NUH are to be used for multiple roles including search and rescue, casualty evacuation and low intensity maritime operations and torpedo attacks. However, the procurement process of NUH in itself is some story and depicts the problem of our previous defense procurement, much of which has been sorted out in recent few years. In the year 2017, Indian Navy came up with an RFI to procure 111 naval utility helicopters under the strategic partnership model. Under this model, an Indian private company is to tie up with a foreign strategic partner for technology and manufacturing capabilities and bid for the contract. Important to note here is that HL was not allowed to participate in this bid as it's a public sector company. The Indian Navy remained firm against the inclusion of HL in the deal of NEWEDGE, asserting that the company's product does not meet the armed forces requirement. The major issue with ALH was its folding blades. Navy has specified the requirement of 3.5 meter folded blades right from the beginning. Even concession was given to HL to achieve 5.4 meter folded width to begin with instead of 3.5 meter which they failed to achieve initially. Also the folding blades should be quick and easy like other naval helicopters Chetak, Sea King or Kamu. The blade folding takes excessive time and the size of the folded blade was bigger than what is required. Back in November 2020, HL carried out demonstration of tail boom folding operation on an LH MK3 DWDM prototype. In combination with existing two blade folding, the achieved stowage dimension of LH is 13.5 meter length and 3.5 meter width and 4.1 meter height which meets the Indian Navy's NUH specification. To achieve this, a lot of modifications were done to naval ALH MK3. Segmented blade folding and automatic tail boom fold was included. With these changes, ALH segmented blade folding takes less than 6 minutes to fold, which is well within the Navy's requirement. The same has been even demonstrated to Indian Navy. Another trial was conducted back in April 2020 to demonstrate the deck-based operational capabilities that include landing on deck, folding of plates, and storing the helicopter inside the onboard hangar. The shipborne trials were conducted off Chennai coast in collaboration with Indian Coast Guard. It also covered maintenance activities inside the hangar and on the deck and hot refueling with engines running on the deck. These trials have now proven the capabilities of LH2. With the successful demonstration of blade folding, stowage, helicopter is now ready to be fielded for operation. If you closely observe the blades of HL Dhruv, only the side blades need to be folded which moves backwards. The blades at the front and rear remains at their original position. Now many of you might be thinking, if the manual folding of blades is so complex, why not make it automatic? The automatic blade folding system is very complex electro-hydraulic mechanism which further adds weight to the helicopter. It is also very difficult to build a small hingeless rotor system into ALH. Auto folding is a requirement generally for larger naval helicopters such as Sea King MK42B, Merlin HM MK2, CH148 Cyclone. Their large heavy blades cannot be manhandled without serious risk of damage to man or machine because rotor diameter often extends beyond the ship's deck edge. The helicopter in 5.5 to 5 ton categories mostly have a manual folding blade system and do not accommodate fully automatic blade folding. The automatic blade folding was also not part of the 5 ton NUH requirement of Indian Navy. On 8th of April, we have reported that Ministry of Defense has come up with third positive indigenization list which includes 
101 major defense equipments and platforms. The list also includes NUH, which means that as per the initial tender of 111 NUH, which was earlier being processed through the strategic partnership route, will now be made by Indian firm, be it public or private. However, when it comes to rotorcraft, the prominent name in this field is HL. Back in October 2021, Indian Navy and HL has done the extensive review of the NUH requirement and Navy has asked for 60 NUH based on LH as per by India IDDM, which means Indigenously Designed, Developed and Manufactured route of DAP 2020. The new NUH will be a variant of ALH and LUH modified especially for ship-based operation based on Indian Navy's requirement. HL is now working on detailed project report covering the helicopter configuration and overall cost and will be submitting the details to MOD pretty soon. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.